Hey viewers, I picked up the Shimano Nexus 8-speed hub at a big bike garage sale. It's being sold for parts because apparently the race is in there are worn out or something. But um, have you ever wondered what's inside one of these? I have. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to go ahead and take this apart and see what all the insides look like. Okay, so I'm going to start off by removing these axle nuts here and stick those aside. And this has the optional uh, roller brake on there, and so this is just being held on by this nut, and I noticed it wasn't tight, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this nut here. Put that aside, and see if this, this whole thing comes off here like that. That's pretty cool. I may do a video just on showing how this thing works. I don't know. So, next it looks like there's part here, and this part, there's a lock nut here. So I'm going to remove that lock nut, and... Use a 14 millimeter wrench here and a like cone wrench and a 14 millimeter wrench here and break that loose and remove this. And then remove this. Well, that just comes right off of there and there's like separate threading down here. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Oh, and this whole thing just comes right off of here like that. Okay, so this part here, there's a set of four paws, little spring-loaded fingers here, and then those would mesh with the little teeth down in here. And so that looks like what is the main driver of the wheel. Um, let me see, over here is the little, uh, where the shift cable attaches. This little part here unlocks. And then this thing comes off, and so it looks like when the cable's pulled, it uh, rotates this little part around down in here, and so that somehow would uh, adjust the shifting in there. So let's go ahead and take this part apart and see what's in here. Looks like there's a little C-clip on here. Okay, let's see if we can go ahead and remove this guy here, this little C-clip. Pop that off there, and, and, okay, this comes apart like this, so it's like this is one whole big chunk here, and there's some planetary gears in there rotating when I turn this, and on this, okay, this seem, seems to be like a sun gear, so this is affixed to the axle there, and so then this has got some like little paws up in here, it looks like, that could uh, go ahead and engage without here. But it looks like also the sun gear here could engage with these little teeth down in here. So depending on what uh, gear it's in. And there's probably there's got to be more options than that. All kinds of different little options. So I'm not quite sure what all this stuff is. Maybe this stuff slides around a little bit to uh, rotate. So there's like little just like little paws and stuff in here that pop up and out to engage different things in here. But I'm not sure if this comes apart. Looks like the rivets have been here so a lot of this might be all kind of connected. Um, I'll have to investigate a little bit, maybe clean this up a little bit, see if I can figure out how this comes apart. Um, or how this comes apart. It looks like there might be another... I'm not sure if there's a nice little clip on here. I'll have to clean this stuff up, see if I can see how if it comes apart farther than this. It must. Okay, well I got these parts cleaned up by uh, using some degreaser, and I can see more detail of the workings of them. Uh, at first I didn't think I was going to be able to get this apart because it looks like there's heavy duty rivets in here. But this part here is loose, and I think it looks like there's a like a little split ring holding this in. So I think if I can get that split ring out of there, that uh, I can pull this part off of here. So I have like a little dental pick in here. Yeah, see it looks like this little split ring on here. So if I can get this thing out of here. So this little split ring here. So, ah! And then this comes off here like this. And so now you can see all the workings of it in here. Looks like there might be another clip in here. I 
a little clip in here like this. And then I think maybe this will come off. Maybe it'll come off, but I'm not sure. Well, that's not coming off real easy. And now there's another little clip up in here. And I wasn't sure at first what this did, but I finally figured it out. There's these little pins in there. So this little clip here holds these pins in there, which holds those uh, little cogs in there, those little gears. So if I remove this, oh, now this wants to fall off here like this. And if I get this out without bending it here, there. So I got this little ring out there. And so now these little pins that hold these cogs in should slide out. Trick is how to get them out. So they're starting to come out there. It's like a pull this pin out here. If I pull this pin out here. And that one's not coming out yet. Okay, so now this pin is coming out here. Now this is kind of loose in here now. So I'm not sure if I can get this guy out of here but now those things are kind of loose in there so there's probably some way to get these things to come out maybe another clip or something that I'm not seeing in here okay well I cleaned this part up uh, to see if I could get it uh, apart farther and uh, I actually managed to get one of these uh, gears out but I couldn't get the other two out so I kind of gave up on that put the pins back in because I wanted to show you something as I turn this little outer ring here which would be driven like when you pedal and stuff uh, watch these uh, uh, gears on the inside like down in here if you look real close there's like three different levels there the, the level uh, moving closest to the camera is moving the slowest the next level down is moving a little bit faster and the level at the bottom is moving the fastest um, now how that works is with this part here and I figured out that there's like three little fingers here. So as you pull the cable, one of them is going to pop up. I think this one first. Then as you pull the cable farther, it'll go down. Another one will pop up. You pull the cable farther, and that'll go down. Another one will pop up. And you, so you have three different uh, ranges of gearing. But then there's going to be some other mechanism in here. So you, you get the full eight. So that's basically how this part works. So I want to start taking this thing apart to see how this works. Now before I took this pub apart, I was playing with it trying to get it to shift. I really couldn't get it to shift right, but I think I might have figured out why. If I kind of push this little part up as if the cable's being pulled, you can see this little finger there at the end pop up there, but that's all that happens. This just moves just a little bit, and that one finger pops up, and nothing more happens. I kind of expect more to happen. I expect this to move farther and more stuff happen here. The other fingers pop up, but they're not. So. It's like something's broken or jammed in here, but I'm not sure what. This very well may, might be why the wheel was parted out. But I'm going to take this apart and see if I can figure out what's going on in there. There looks like a little split ring up here, so I think if I remove that, I might be able to remove this stuff and see what's going on. So let me see if I can just push this around and kind of get it off here. Yeah, so there's like this little ring there. And so now... Let's see if I can work this stuff up. So this little part comes off of here like this. Well, after pulling that little clip and washer off of this side, it doesn't look like the rest of this comes off. It looks like it's integrated into the axle itself. So I'm going to try a different way. Is I'm going to try over on this side to get in there. And so I have like a 19 millimeter cone wrench to hold onto there. And I'm not sure what size this is. My 17 uh, millimeter wrench is too small and my 18 is too big. So I'm going to use an adjustable wrench on here. And then unscrew this. Okay, so I got that off. And then there's a little washer here. And okay, so then the rest of this seems to kind of come right off. And, okay, and there's a spring down here. 
And so then this all comes across here. There's a spring. And Okay, so this seems to be the part that adjusts the shifting, I think. Another spring in here. Looks like even another spring in there. I don't recommend taking one of these things apart because I'm pretty sure I'm never ever going to get this thing back together again. So, uh, yeah. I would like to see how what actuates those things though. Okay, so it looks like there's a little arm down here that slides around. And then this thing little kind of controls those by sliding around. So a couple up or up, that's kind of down. It slides around, then this goes down and that goes up and uh, well, there you go. There's just like a buttload of parts in one of these things. And you get into this part, and it's just mysterious as heck. And looks like that little thing just slides around, and these little fingers go up and down and control the stuff in here. But then there's also some other stuff because there's some pawls up in here, and there's eight speeds, and that only really is three speeds. So there you go. It's just magic. It's it works by magic. Uh, don't ever take one of these things apart down to this level because I, I don't think you're ever going to get back together. But anyway, I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button. You'll see new videos of me destroying other stuff and fixing other stuff. Um, and I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I posted a lot of stuff over there, a lot of fun stuff. And I got a webpage, rjthebikeguy.com. Go check that out. Anyway, well, thank you very much for watching.